we come in one night and there was a, on the notice board down there, there was a sign like saying about it. When we first looked at it, we thought it was like something like the QE2 or something like that. We thought it was like a pleasure cruise. <laughs> Well, my friends think really that it's just a bit of a skive actually. I'm going off for a fortnight at the end of the term and they seem pretty, well, some of them think it's a bit of a jit really that I can get away. Two six. Hey! Hey! Come on, lads, be some beat. One more. Go on. Two, six. Hey! Right. Well, I've been at Bolton School now for about six years. I came after primary school at 11. I'm now in my sixth year. I did my O-levels last year, and uh, this year I'm studying geography, economics and French. Just take it through to the end of the sentence, then, Bruce, as well. Mais ceci était à l'ouvre tous les deux. Grace, now, for what you are about to receive, may we be truly thankful. Amen. And my father came here and my uncle, two uncles, in fact, and an auntie, so I was following a bit of a tradition in coming. I hope I don't get seasick. I, I really do, but I don't really think you can say really, as I've not really done much sailing or anything, so I'll just have to wait. That might spoil it a bit, but it should be a very good experience. A once in a lifetime chance, so I'm really glad I can take it. I was on a scheme, no one had left school. Just went straight onto a scheme, working here. <laughs> and then uh, went to the butchers. I worked here, I built the extension on the building. I worked here for about five months, then in the Victoria something. He enjoys every minute of it. I, I'm not a sailor myself, but uh, I'm almost tempted to go along as well as a stowaway. <laughs> All I hope is he has a calm voyage. <laughs> His only worry is seasickness. Right, thank you. Follow me, we shall go that way. Okay, we'll do. Down onto the half deck. Right. Do you come straight down or what? We have to go to London. And then from London we got, um, what was it, the 8 o'clock today? Eight o'clock, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you been sleeping a bit? No. <sighs> I didn't. He slept a little bit. You're three. You haven't got a hammock, have you? You're lucky. <laughs> yeah, hammock, 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 hammocks, hammock. are, hammocks are nice. It's and it's like a banana. <laughs> this ties on your side of your bed. If you lift your mattress up, you'll see two ties on the side of your bed. And you want to put them on where it's safe. Because otherwise, if, it, if you change tack at night and you're in your, in your pits, that's changed from one side to the other. You roll out. <laughs> <laughs> Half and right. All on board. I'll take your passport, please. Half and hands, guys. Welcome on board. Half and Hedy. Welcome on board. I'll take your passport, please. Okay. And how much money do you have there? 66. 66 pounds. Okay. And what else do I have to hand? Two rings. Three rings. Okay. Okay, Hedy, just for the record, do you swim? 
And how did you hear about the schooners? He has a trip with a new club, uh, Shrewsbury House. Yeah. New club. Okay. Have you ever done any sailing before? No. no? Well, I'm not very much either, so it should be all right. Right, okay, if we can have the watch leader, he can climb the rigging first, and the rest of the trainees will follow suit. Your hands go on to the shroud. That's the sort of vertical pieces. You never hold on to the ratlins. If one of those ratlins gives way, well, you sort of go swimming. When you get up there, or when you're out on the bowsprit, you always clip round something horizontal, never anything vertical. If you clip onto something vertical, you get a beautiful guided descent. We're all standing on the deck sort of clapping. Well, that's a good one. Right, OK? Bruce, sit back up there. Pretty frightening. It's worse having to keep stopping. It's petrifying when you've got to stop up the top there, waiting for someone else. Get in and down out of the crow's nest, it's worse. Because there's nothing to hold on to. You've got to find everything. It should be quite good when the boat's moving, though. That'll be more fun. All right, gentlemen, sit down. Well, welcome on board, officially, en masse. Um, briefly, I'm going to tell you what we're going to try and do the next fortnight. We are here, present time in Southampton. At the moment, this is the weather maps that we've been getting through. And for the next 48 hours, 72 hours, unfortunately, there doesn't look as though there's going to be very much wind. The idea, really, is to get round this corner. That's what we're going to try and do and get back down into the Bay of Biscay, down here. But we'll come out tomorrow and hopefully come round, get out into the English Channel and then head towards the west. You're in, although you might not appreciate it when you're being seasick, leaning over the lee rail. A fairly streamlined, beautiful machine. But what you might say the red rum or the Pele or the Ian Botham of the sailing world. Please treat Malcolm Miller as your home and look after her. It's a very expensive bit of kit to maintain. A mizzen sail, which you'll be seeing later, just having a new one made now, costs some 8,000 pounds. Okay, finally, my job is to help you. That's what we, the permanent crew, are paid for. The more assistance, information we can give to you, the better we'll be pleased. Come up. If you say to watch leader, say, come up. That's a sort of signal or the order that is given when everybody is hauling on the rope, let's go of the rope except the front man. And he is the person who is going to make it up to the cleat or the belaying pin. OK? And there's five jobs on the bridge. You're either on the wheel. Number six. There's two lookouts, one either side. There's a messenger. And there's someone who maintains the log and everything else. OK? Good. Right. Well, they take it off and do it again. You did it right. Now let's see if we can do it again. Over. Under. Right, now the three figures of eight. That's it. Right, that's it. Now we start your coiling. So, where you do it? Left hand by the pen. Right hand about there. How big do you make the coils? Depends how long the rope is. Little bit of rope, little coil. Big bit of rope like that, nice big coil. Uh, oh, four or five, sir. Now. You're at the 15 now, aren't you? I thought you meant add 5 on to what you already had. If you're on 10 degrees and the order comes 4 to 5, then you take it back to 5. Oh, if he wants to take it to 15, he'll shout to you, go to 15. Okay. There's one. Uh, in it. What about taking the eye? Uh, we'll support 5, sir. 5 degrees of 4 wheel on, sir. 5 degrees of 4 wheel on, sir. Right. Starboard 10. Starboard 10, sir. 